Hello, and welcome to the first podcast. I'm Riley, and I'm about to ramble about some random things. There's going to be a lot of that going on in all these podcasts. You know, at some point, we'll probably have some guests uh, get into some probably interesting stories. Um, And, you know, if there's any kids watching, which I doubt there is, but, you know, or rather listening, not watching, but if there's any kids listening, uh, it could get a little explicit, so, you know. Don't let your parents hear it. All right. So, for the first podcast, we're going to get into a little bit of about me stuff. So, I already said my name's Riley. You know, that's just basic stuff. Um, so, after that, got music choice. So, for me, I'm mostly into, like, rap. Um, you know, I like... Little Skies is one of my favorites. I mean, not as much anymore. He's starting to go downhill. He's been kind of a dick to his fans. See, said him like it'll explicit. So, you know, that's not all. But he's been kind of a jerk to his fans about, like, actually releasing it. And I get it. It gets frustrating when, you know, the music gets leaked. But at the same time, and that happens to most rappers as it is, but you don't see them throwing a huge fit about it like he did. I just think he could be doing better. Um, so yeah, he's one of my favorites. Uh, Lil Mosey is another one of my favorites. He's, I think he's pretty good. I like his energy. Uh, a little bit lesser known one, uh, Sui Generis. He's 17 years old now. I think he just turned 17. He just recently released his new song, Appa Dance. So check that out, you know. Yeah, I'll give him a little bit of a, you know, promotion here. N- not that a lot of people will be listening anyway, but it's fine. So, you know. If even if I can get like one person to listen to it, that's something. <laughs> At least I'm helping. Um, yeah, that's pretty much my top ones from music. Uh, I mean, I've really been in the sui generis last few months. He kind of went. I think he went like five months without releasing a new song, so that was kind of rough for a fan. But. I mean, at the same time, he's got a little bit of stuff to listen to. I mean, Appa Dance was good, though. I quite enjoyed that song when it released, and I was very excited about it. So I'm glad that he finally released something new. And hopefully, he will uh, keep it up, because, I mean, he's still young, He's still, and he's starting to rise. He made a smart choice by getting his social media presence up there when he did, because, well, you know, that's good to do. I mean, even though he wasn't releasing music, he was releasing, or not really, not releasing, he was um, getting his social media presence out there, keeping the attention on him, and now when he does release music, he will have more attention on it, because he's got that social media presence still buzzing, rather than, you know, just falling flat off the earth, kind of like, well, Will Skies did, because he's been pretty bland on social media hasn't really done anything so he's kind of not really and with him not really releasing music I mean he went seven months in between songs and he should have capitalized on the fact that he had a little bit of a bump after uh, Nowadays and Red Roses when you know those two songs came out he had kind of a bump from those he didn't really ride that wave like he should have and then when he released Shelby I hit really well I mean, comparatively to the rest of his songs, that hit really well. He didn't capitalize on that either. He's never really capitalized on any type of success he could have. So, that's I think that's where Skies went wrong. And now he's kind of... I mean, he's been... I don't know. There's been a, uh, an album rumored for quite a while now. And a little bit more heavily rumored over the last couple months. And still nothing. Like... There's been teaser after teaser about possible albums and just not dropping anything. Like, yeah, he released Light Beam, what, like a month ago? Not even, maybe? I don't even know when he released Light Beam. It wasn't all too long ago, I guess. I mean, he had a decent run going. He had Half of My Way in March. I think he dropped Fidget in April. I may be wrong on that. might actually check that just to make sure I'm not wrong. Uh, then shortly after, I think in May, he released Riot. Um, so, yeah, and then he went, I think a couple, yeah, he released Red and Yellow in, 
July. And then Light Beam, I think I think it was later that month, the release Light Beam. Um, I don't honestly know. I mean, I need to get more up to date on this stuff, I guess, but I'm actually looking it up now so I know if I'm right or not. Make sure my volume's down. <laughs> oh, no, it's not. Okay. Um, so, let's see. Light Beam was released four weeks ago. It was released, so that'll be July. Light Beam was released July 23rd. Okay, so that's his most recent. Red and Yellow, I believe, was July 9th. Yeah, July 9th was Red and Yellow, so two weeks beforehand. Riot, oh, no, that's Have My Way was in March. I knew that one. Riot was in May. I, I was right about that. May 14th, so yeah. Uh, Fidget was April. Okay, yeah, so I mean, he went three months in a, row, in a row releasing new things. I mean, then he took a month off. Uh, then Red and Yellow came out, and then a couple of weeks later, Light Beam came out. Now, I myself have been hearing about his uh, a rumored album since at least June. I mean, I've heard it's been rumored for longer than that, but I myself heard more about the rumors of it supposed to be releasing in June. And then it was like he had a release date. This is still a skies, by the way, but he had a release date, and then like it was kind of rumored for that day. And then, you know, there was a little bit of hype behind it. Didn't release. And then there was another rumored date. Didn't release. And there was logic behind these rumored dates, too. So it's not like, you know, just a couple fans saying, oh, yeah, I could release this day. No, it was like legitimate dates that it could have been released on. And then when he released a new merch line, there that was the next rumored date. Which would make sense, releasing the merchandise and the album at the same time to promote, you know, kind of promote the album with the merchandise. Didn't do it then either. And then, I don't know what the rumored date is now. I'm just going to go out on a limb and say he's not going to drop it. Because he also gets a little uh, pissy with the fans if, you know, I mean, obviously I would get annoyed if I was making music and they leaked my stuff too. But he gets a little testy with the fans a little too testy and I think that's also another one of his downfalls so that's I mean that's kind of just my opinion on, on Lil Skies he's still up there as one of my favorites he was my favorite for the longest time and then I don't know I've just kind of started to realize he's not really the best I guess character He's he doesn't have the best character um yeah, whereas people like, who's somebody who's been kind of rising? I mean, I guess Lil Dirk would be a good example. I mean, I never really heard much about him for a while, and then all of a sudden he was just on everything, and was on the rise, and like, I, I mean, he was on Having My Way with Lil Skies. That's where I first started to hear about him. I mean, then he was on, I know he was on Three Headed Goat with Lil Baby and Poe G. Actually, I think that might have been Lil Dirk's song. So... That nah, wasn't a feature, but still another big song of his. Uh, he just recently had a song with Drake. I can't honestly remember the name of it. I haven't listened to it yet, but I just know he was on it. I keep meaning to listen to it, and I keep forgetting. But that's beside the point. Uh, so, yeah. I just think Lil Skies went wrong by not keeping his presence up. And a lot of people that you know may have been on the, you know, about to hop on this guy's bandwagon, just kind of were like, ah, oh, maybe he's not worth it, you know, if he's not going to be releasing new stuff, you know, what's he, what's the point? And I kind of agree, like, I don't know, I would rather have somebody, an artist, that is consistent, and is, you know, they care about their fans. Like, you know, there was a petition out there to try to get Skies to quit drinking lean. And his baby mama pretty much told the fans to stop trying to help him, saying he doesn't need help. When you can clearly see in, like, you know, new pictures and videos of Skies, he is not looking the greatest. And, you know, if he's getting heavily into lean, that could be a contributing factor. Which, I mean, he, I personally think he needs to stop because he's got a kid now. 
I mean, he's had his kid for over a year now, so it's not like it's anything new. But he's got a kid. He's got his baby mama to take care of. And, yeah, he's got, I mean, I don't know. I just feel like losing him would devastate a lot of people, too. I mean, his brother, Cam, who's also a rapper, uh, Cameron Hauser, uh, or Heartbreak Kid, he goes by as well. I'm personally not a fan. I think he's as much of a dick as Skies is, if not worse. But, you know, I'm just not really a fan of his music either, his character or music. But I just think Skies kind of needs to get his stuff together. Um, Moving on to the next topic I have here. Wrestling is another interest of mine. Um, Anybody listening who knows me definitely knows I am a fan of wrestling. It's a pretty prominent part of my life. Um, I've liked it since I was five years old. I mean, my first real memory of it was, I want to say it was a, there was like a world heavyweight title match between Batista and Edge. I want to say Punk, CM Punk cashed in, and that was my first real memory of watching it. So, I mean, I think it was, that was, oh wait, I know that, I'm pretty sure it was 2008, and that's always been kind of like my favorite time period of wrestling, probably because of the fact that that's when I got into it. Uh, I mean, I still to this day watch it. Is it the greatest at the moment? No. Definitely not. Um, I mean, I personally, I watch more WWE than anything. I know, you know, oh, AEW is the new big thing. I don't, I don't know. I don't watch it. I seen little bits and pieces of it. I think I watched one whole episode, and that was when Kenny Omega and Pac had their Iron Man match. And that's the only episode of AEW I've watched. That was quite a while ago. But um, yeah, my personal favorite of all time would be Jeff Hardy. I mean, he was my first favorite. I remember first, like the first time I saw him, I was like, "Whoa, this dude's awesome!" And ever since then, he's just been my favorite. I mean. He's never really done anything for me to not like him. I mean, yeah, he's got a bad past. You know, drugs and all that kind of shit. But at the same time, you know, he's... I mean, I don't know, he's still one of my favorites. Current favorite is Bray Wyatt. I am a huge fan of his character. Um, I think there's a lot to work with there. And I love how in-depth they go with it. Like, now bringing Alexa Bliss into it because of Strowman's past with Alexa. And then... Like, just all that kind of stuff. It just works so well. And the Firefly Funhouse, I just love. It's something that hasn't really been seen before. Something that probably won't be seen again for a while. And I personally just like it. I don't think... I think they should put um, as much effort as they do into Bray's character. And I mean, if they put it into more characters, or like, you know, more superstars... Like, they put a lot of investment into Bray and now Seth Rollins with his Monday Night Messiah stuff, which I like that too. Uh, Seth Rollins is another one of my top favorites and has been since... Oh, fuck. Since I first heard about him, I guess. I mean, the cash-in is still my favorite WrestleMania moment of all time. So, the when Rollins came out and cashed in on Lesnar at WrestleMania 31 is still my favorite Mania moment of all time. So, I mean... I guess a little bit before that is when I got into Rollins. Like, I I don't know. I have, like, this big blank period of wrestling from, like, 2010 to 2014. I remember some stuff that happened, like the Shield debuting, Punk vs. Cena at Money in the Bank, uh, Yes, yeah, the Yes movement. Nexus. But it's just that period of time is, like, non-existent in my memory (laughs) um I don't remember a whole lot from it same with 2015 to be real I mean I remember the cash in remember Seth Rollins had his title run Sting got injured Rollins got injured and besides that I'm just blanking 2016 I remember Enzo and Cass and that's pretty much it um I mean wasn't that the year that Roman Reigns got like super over pushed uh, I don't. I don't honestly remember. Jeez, I really need to catch up because I don't remember any of this stuff. Um, 
I need some water. That's what I need. So, thankfully, I have a big bottle of it right next to me. That's better. Okay. Sorry, I just need a little bit of a refresher. Um, NXT is the place to be for me. I personally quite enjoy NXT. I mean, some of my favorites are down there, like Velveteen Dream, Tommaso Ciampa. When Matt Riddle is there, Matt Riddle, Broserweights, I loved. Pete Dunne, I'm a huge fan of. I think he's one of the best in WWE right now. Both, I mean, uh, technical, you know, ability-wise, he's amazing. Character work, he's getting better at. He proved that with uh, the Broserweights. So, I... You know, I think he could keep working on his character work and he could honestly be a top star. Um, Velveteen Dream. He's got some heat on him right now. However, he's still one of my favorites. I really don't care, you know, if he has heat on him or not. You know, I haven't really heard or read all too much up on what the situation is. I know he's got some, I think it's accusations on him for... Uh, I think it was sexual misconduct, but I honestly just don't care. You know, it's not really, it doesn't really deter me for, from liking his wrestling ability. I mean, it doesn't really affect his ability in the ring. Yes, I know it, you know, means he's not the greatest person if it's true, but hey, another water break. But I just don't see any reason to judge his wrestling ability based on something he did in the past. Um, I just think that'd be kind of dumb because, well, I mean, what really would be the point? You know what I mean? Like, yeah, okay, I get he's got a bad past, but so do a ton of other superstars. Like, to be fair, both Hardy bro or boys, Randy Orton. Uh, I'm trying to think of there's more definitely. Um, I mean. That's just like, I mean, there's multiple of them for drugs. There's, I mean, Matt Riddle had accusations on him that I still, I don't know if they got proven true or not, to be honest. I don't remember. I feel like I read something about it and just don't remember. But, uh, yeah, Matt Riddle had accusations on him. He's still fine. There's nothing going on with him. He's doing his thing. So I don't really see why it's such a big hoopla about uh, Dream doing it. You know, I mean... Do I support his, if he did, you know, do anything with, to, you know, sending, I heard of something about, like, he sent, uh, 16 year old pictures, like, nudes, I guess, or something like that. Do I support that? No, not at all. Should he have done it if he did? No, definitely not. But, I, I mean, I don't know. That's really not deterring me from being a fan of it to be honest like yeah okay he does only bad you know I know a lot of people who've done bad things do I hold that against them no do I see them as a different person for it I mean am I seeing as a little bit different person had they not done it but at the same time I don't want that cloud my judgment you know I judge somebody for how I feel about them not their actions unless if it's actions toward me then, you know, I might get a little more defensive about it, but, you know, that's whatever. Um, so, yeah, Velveteen Dream, I, there's a thing going around that they want, that the fans want Dream to get fired. Do I support that? No, definitely not. I am a Dream fan, you know? I was excited to see him return on NXT last week. I mean, then he won his way into the North American title match this week. Boy, those people trying to get him fired are going to be throwing a hissy fit. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, I just don't see that going well. <laughs> uh, a little more about NXT. I personally do not support uh, Mr. Karrion Cross fighting Keith Lee for the North American title as of this recording tomorrow night. Because I'm recording this at almost 1 in the morning on Friday. August, whatever today's date is, the day before takeover. Um, 
so I don't think he should be going for the title already. I personally don't like him. I, yeah, he's got, I guess, cool character work. I mean, he's got a dope entrance, I know that. <laughs> but in ring, I have not been impressed with him. His match with Champa, I'm a Champa fan, so I guess I'd be a little biased here. I found boring. Due to the fact that Champa got an absolutely no offense. Yes, I get it. That was probably the point to make Cross look like a monster. However, I just hope that doesn't happen against Keith Lee. I really would not want to see Keith Lee drop that title, first of all. And second of all, I just would not... If he's going to drop the title already, I don't want it to be the Killer Cross or Karrion Cross, whatever you want to call him. I know his name's Karrion Cross in WWE, but... You know, used to be called Killer Cross. So I guess I still get that mix up once in a while, but um, yeah, I just don't know. Um, main roster stuff. What's going on on Raw these days? I believe mm -hmm, Drew McIntyre and Randy Orton have a little rivalry going on right now. Um. Drew, I'm hoping he doesn't lose the title to Randy. I mean, I know he's defending it against him this Sunday at SummerSlam. And there's a rumor he might drop it to him. Is that confirmed to be true? I don't know. I just know there's a rumor about it. So, I mean, uh, it's not really a spoiler. I mean, you can believe the rumor or not. I'm personally not believing it until I see it. If it, you know, if it comes true or it gets, you know, shut down by Drew retaining, uh, I personally don't want to see Drew drop it to Randy of all people. Unless if Randy is going to be like a transitional champion into a new world champion, you know, somebody who hasn't won it before, or even somebody like Kevin Owens, who has never held the world title. I mean, he had the Universal. Uh, but I mean, I wouldn't. I personally would not mind seeing Kevin Owens as world champion. Uh, you know, I think that'd be cool. Or even somebody like maybe not Andrade at the moment because he's not really doing anything main event worthy. He's just kind of he's in tag team right now with Garza. But um, yeah, so I don't see Andrade really being a viable contender at the moment. Unless they say unless if they start pushing him toward that again. Which they kinda started pushing him toward a possible what looked to be a possible world title match like after WrestleMania when Drew first won the title. I'm sorry, yawn break. Again it's one in the morning. I'm getting tired now. <laughs> it's actually one on one, but whatever. But um yeah, it looks like they're starting to push Andrade toward maybe a possible world title feud with uh, Drew. And then that just got halted. Like, I don't even know what happened to that. Like, he went from looking like he was going to get a world title match to tag team title. You know, mid-card stuff. So, I don't really know what happened there. I mean, who, did he, who did he even drop the US title to? Who's he? Oh. Apollo, that's who you're up to. It took me a second. Again, I keep yawning. I guess I could have used an energy drink for this. <laughs> uh, I mean, I got water. That's my drink for this. So, I mean, I guess Andrade kind of... I feel like didn't, I feel like something happened backstage with Andrade, but I don't know. Like, some sort of heat. Maybe I'm wrong, but I'm trying to remember if there was, like, really a reason why he got just, like, dropped out of contendership. I don't think there really was. He just kind of, like, went from, you know, coming up to a main event or to just mid-card tag title feud with the Street Profits. So. Uh. Okay. God, I keep yawning. Fuck that. Um, another thing I'm a fan of is Pokemon. I'm not going to get into depth about that. I just thought I'd mention that. Uh, I am a big collector of Funko Pops. You know, those figures in the boxes. I have a lot of them. Over a hundred. Of a variety of things. I have Marvel, Rick and Morty, Disney, 
Uh, it WWE, you know, not a surprise there. I have a couple Pokemon ones. I have um some. I have oh, I have a whole set of Beauty and the Beast ones. I have a few ad icons. I got some anime ones. Dragon Ball. Like I'm a Dragon Ball Z fan. Um, you know I'm not like a huge like super fan, but I like it. I have some game ones. I got Wally and Eve, which I love those two. Wally is one of my favorite movies of all time. I got a set of Bird Birds of Prey ones. I have a few Star Wars ones. I got a bunch of miscellaneous ones. You know, uh, I just love collecting pops. You can find them in quite a few stores. Walmart, you can find them in uh, Walgreens, Target, GameStop. They're not hard to see either. You know, GameStop, you walk in and that's like one of the first things you'll see is pops. For the most part. Um, Target, they're usually by the electronics. Same with Walmart. Usually pretty easy to find. Um, yeah, they're sold at quite a few places. I mean, you just kind of got to look for them. You know, toy shops might have them. But, yeah. Um, that's really my list of things here to talk about. So, um, I mean, I have, I put, I wrote, so I have this list right here in front of me of things to talk about. I got music, wrestling, I vaguely went over Pokemon, you know. I guess if anybody wants me to talk about that in future podcasts, let me know. I can. Uh, but I'm not really going to worry about that for now. Pops, I kind of rambled on about for a minute. Uh, I have stories. I'm not really going to get into that because I don't want to make this podcast like super long. So I guess I can just hold it off till the next episode. Uh, yeah, so I guess I can probably just end it here. So, yeah, um, I'll put my social media stuff in the description. Um, yeah, so just, you know, if you like this, you know, you like the podcast, let me know. Um, comment, you know, any suggestions, anything you want me to talk about, any improvements I can make, any stuff like that, you know, constructive criticism. Just don't be dicks. <laughs> I mean, if you want to, I guess, you know, whatever. That's your, you know, whatever floats your boat. But, um, yeah, so I hope you've enjoyed. Uh, you know, like, subscribe, all that kind of bullshit. Or don't, you know, it's really your choice. But it'll help me out. So, <laughs> uh, yeah. Have a great day. I hope you enjoyed.